And right now in Douglas County, two men preparing to spend life behind bars for a murder for hire plot that left two people dead. 7 News reporter Tyler Lopez just out of the courtroom where both men reached plea deals. Tyler, at least one of them was facing the death penalty, and now that won't happen. Right, traded for life in prison. Just like the enraged husband in this case, Christopher Wells, sentenced this morning, Josiah Sure was sentenced this afternoon. Really didn't make much of a statement, only a brief comment by way of his attorney. But their actions also helped ensure that a very young girl would never have to testify in this brutal case. The DA and family all said that was key. This Keen Ranch home is where Bob Rafferty and Amara Wells died February 23rd, 2011. A six year old girl was there. She saw her mother, Amara's body, stabbed and shot. She saw the killer, Josiah Schur, actually kill Bob Rafferty. Then, chillingly, the killer came after her. The prosecutor told the judge the bad man came into her room and turned the light on. She hid under the bed. The prosecutor said, We found a bloody handprint on the comforter. And that's why prosecutors say when all four defendants eventually came forward offering a plea deal, the DA eventually took it. The family in this case would love to see them get the death penalty, but they were united, and it was an easy decision for them to say, spare this child the trauma of testifying and reliving this and going through detail after detail of what she had to undergo. Spare this child reliving the fear. And that DA said it is simply remarkable that 13 months after the murders, all four men are guilty and done. Two of them serving 48 years, Wells and Cher serving life without parole. Live in Castle Rock, Tyler Lopez, 7 News.